Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. Uh, thanks for watching, by the way. Uh, we've got a question from a fellow boater. And this fellow boater is asking a question that some of us should think about, um, but not all of us have an opportunity to consider this question. This boater uh, starts off and says, Jeff, I have a Seawin um, 1190 that has about a thousand watts of solar panels. I would like to install an inverter charger. Okay, makes sense, right? So a thousand watt is a decent size solar array, especially for that boat. I'm wondering if I should go with 24 volts on the inverter or 12 volts. I'm, and for context, he's saying, I'm setting up for extended peers off grid. Would 24 uh, help benefit future solar additions? That's a good question, uh, but honestly, retrofitting a boat from 12 to 24 is not necessarily a straightforward uh, process. Yeah, it sounds easy to say it, but there's a huge amount of implications. Specifically, you know, your starter on your boat is going to be 12 volts. Your alternator is going to be 12 volts, right? Everything on the boat is 12 volts. So if you go to 24 volts, what are you doing that for? You're doing that for because you're trying to effectively reduce your cable size, right? Because once you increase, you double the voltage, you divide the amperage equally. So double voltage divide amperage in two. So it allows us to save, obviously, uh, cabling. Now this boat is already built. It's not considering to be built, which is a different conversation that I have with other boaters that say, Jeff, I'm designing a boat from scratch. Should I have 24 or 12? That's a separate conversation. And there's certainly huge and great arguments to go to 24. And we commonly go to 24, depending on the boat size and what we're doing. But yes, absolutely. Lots of reason to go to 24. If you already have a boat and your boat is wired for 12, especially a boat of that size, I would probably stay away from going to 24. Not that it's not a good idea, it's just that practically the benefits, um, your boat's already wired. And unless you're completely doing a retrofit, it might not make sense. So again, um, some people definitely consider having uh, an inverter charger to run on 24. Windlasses on 24 are good. Uh, a lot of large, you know, like it could even be uh, if you've got a sailboat owner and you've got winches, you could go 24. All of those are great reasons. But if the boat's already built and all the equipment's already there, you know, now you're going to have to worry. It's one thing to have a 24 volt battery bank and a 24 volt inverter charger. But then how do you get that 24 volt to go to all the other appliances on your boat? Now, some of them you could power via what's called DC to DC converters, right? A bunch of companies do that. Uh, so you could have an input voltage of 24 volts. It varies. And then you could output something steady at, let's say, 13.4. Right, and that's definitely doable, but again, you know, generally they're rate limited, right? So they can't do any sort of amperage. So then, well, how would you get your starter battery? Uh, are you going to go 24 volt with a starter? You know, are you going to change your starter, or your alternator? How would you parallel a 24 volt with an engine battery that's 12? You couldn't. So it just gets messy. Um, and not to say it's not a good idea but it would be expensive to do so. So in this situation, based on this boat, again, being an 1190 Seawind, I would stick with uh, 12 volts. And remember, uh, voltage from solar panels are already pretty high, you know, depending if you know, this thousand watt array, depending on how it's wired, but it could be in series. Some of the panels in series could be, you know, 222 volt panels that now are in series. Now you're at 44 volts. Maybe it's three panels in series. Now you're at 66 volts. You know, the voltage drop is not proportional to the voltage output of the solar panels, right? It's not at all. So, you know, voltage drop is going to be minimized or the impact is going to be minimized as we have higher and higher input voltages. And the controller is going to be converting whatever input voltage you have, right? Uh, so for example, a Victron 7515 means that it can take up to 75 volts and max current through the controller can be 15 amps. So yeah, I wouldn't uh, go and change my boat to 24 volts from 12 uh, for some benefits on solar. It's the cost is just going to exceed it. So a great question. Definitely relevant. If you're designing your boat from scratch, absolutely absolutely you should consider 24 but retrofitting is a lot harder so great question thanks for asking thank you for watching this uh, pys video if you've got further questions please ask it below or contact us on our contact form on our website i'm happy to donate my time to share information with you 
You can support us in keeping our channel ad-free by purchasing some merch on our store or making a donation through PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.